Welcome back to our channel. My name is Chris. And I'm Lyra. And this is on reaction to the most outrageous moment on Beyond Scared Straight. I've seen a couple of these when I was little. They usually take the the worst kids in school, or they behave really bad with their parents, and they take them to jail to like try to scare them to get them in a better uh, road and stuff. But once they get in that jail, a lot of wild stuff happens. So we shall see. I'm not gonna lie. You gonna you seen these before? No. You never? Just you're about to first time. You're about to be beyond scare straight. Let's see. Sit him down in there. Let's just do it. Straight chair. If you come into the facility and you wanna act like an idiot, you're placed in a restraint chair. There have been some pretty insane moments on Beyond Scared Straight during the show's run, which is to be expected when you consider the premise, sending teens that are delinquents into jail to try and reform them. <laughs> no. Number 10, when the kids' cells were opened for the inmates. Inmates can be scary when they see these kids. It's like they decide to be mean bullies when the kids are around for the jail program. In this scene, the kids were in the cells to spend the night. The inmates were screaming at the kids as they were wandering to the prison ground. As a tradition, they banged the cell door screaming at the kids. This is part of the jail program, and it's important for the kids to have a feeling of what prisoners look like. It was aimed to discourage the kids from committing crimes and fear of going to jail. If Different world when you're in jail. I haven't been there personally. But, wow. Just seeing this already, that's already outrageous. I know. It's if you watch this scary. part of the series, you'll understand how scary and aggressive the inmates are. The cell doors were suddenly opened, and the inmates entered to torment the kids even more. Now, it was normal for the inmates to talk to the kids, but these aggressive inmates were with the kids without the supervision of any guards. It was a very crazy moment, as the kids and audiences were so scared to death. Thankfully, a guard showed up with a gun to control the situation. You think you think it's scripted or is it real? I think it is scripted because they're trying to let the kids learn. What is it? But I mean, I do think sure. I do think they volunteer like the prisoners. They volunteer to do that, but yeah, that too. I think it's scripted. Like, ain't nobody <laughs> you know gonna pull over the gun or whatever and shoot those rounds. <laughs> Number nine, when a kid thought Twin was an actor. It's funny how these kids joke with the program at first and end up crying later on. In this video, Twin, a prisoner who was arrested for probation violation and trafficking, was brought to have a session with the kids. While she was giving her warm-up drill, an officer pointed to a girl who thought Twin was an actor. Twin took the girl aside under the supervision of another officer. She screamed into the girl's face, telling her to do a workout. It took less than a minute for Twin to force tears out of the girl. Then she knew that shit was real. She proceeded to other kids, talking to them one by one. Twin must have a special talent for making kids cry, because every kid she talked to on the episode cried. When it looked like it was impossible to break one girl, she brought an assistant, and together they forced tears out of her eyes. Twin must be related to Tiffany Hiss because she talked and acted exactly like her. Her talk session was so crazy that even the officers were restraining her from touching the little girl. It's you don't say a thing, but your mama like Tino? Like I gave a Come on, come on, come on. You know, I'm saving you right now. Number eight, the inmate being extracted. When juveniles think being stubborn and acting like a gangster is cool, Beyond Scared Straight has implemented the perfect program for that. In this video, the kids were taken on a tour to see an inmate being extracted from a cell because he wouldn't go the easy way. About four to five officers were in his cell as they tasered him, forced him into the chair, and tied him. As this was going on, the officers told the kids that, You don't have a choice when you're in here. You do what you're told. You don't want to move? We'll make you move like this. Don't have a choice when. <laughs> told the kids that you don't have a choice when you're in here. You do what you're told. You don't want to move? We'll make you move like this. If I'm, walk if I'm one of those kids and I'm walking and I see that, 
I changed my life. That's it. I go to. I go to. <laughs> yo, I'm not going in the cell with that person right there. Mm mm. You don't have a choice when you're in here. You do what you're told. It's not up to you where you're housed. You don't want to move? We'll make you move like this. Number seven. When the inmates circled the boy who hit his mom. This scene was insane and funny. A little boy was brought to the Beyond Scared Street because he hit his mother. The officer took him to a place full of inmates. The officer started shouting on the kid for hitting his mom, and when the inmates heard, without being told, they hovered around the kid and took him over from the policeman. They carried him with his jacket asking him why he hit his mom. He said it was a form of self-defense, but they weren't hearing it. They continued to shout and probe him. They warned him never to touch his mother again, and he said he was going to hug and apologize to her when he got home. What you gonna do? I'm gonna see my mom. I'm gonna go through the house. I'm gonna go through the house. That's all you got is your mama. Don't you understand? That? Number six. When a kid was forced to comb an inmate's chest hair. This is another funny and slightly insane moment on Beyond Scared Straight. It happened when the inmates were brought to talk to the kids as usual. A man on a white singlet was his first to start with his motivational talk. Soon the chest hair inmate came up with his orange jumpsuit. He started telling them what he would make them do when they eventually got imprisoned for a crime. He told a kid to get up on his feet, then he opened his jumpsuit to reveal his chest hair. He said if the kids get jailed, he was going to make them comb his chest hair. Then he gave David, one of the kids, a comb to run the comb through it. The kid was shocked and scared as the other inmate shouted for him to comb the chest hair. David was almost in tears as he was combing it. The inmate didn't care. He even told him to comb it gently without hurting him. The comb was passed to the other kid to replicate the action, but the boy refused. The inmate with the white singlet got so angry that he threatened to beat the boy, but he was thankfully taken away. We all know what would have happened if he handled the boy. Give him the comb, man. Make him a bitch. You know what? Open it up. Comb his chest. Comb his chest. Nobody has. Beat your ass. Man, let me go, man. Man, let me go, man. I'll beat your ass. Let me go, man. Let me go. Let me go. Number five, when the kids were taken to see an inmate. The officers of the jail program do a good job of scaring these kids and making them see what they could end up as if they don't put a stop to their unlawful acts. On this tour, the kids were taken to a man in solitary. The man is suspected to have a mental disorder. He was tied into the chair and his mouth was covered. He screamed despite this as the kids were brought before him. He tried to break free from the chair. This crazy scene was to show the kids the effect of drugs and fighting. Look at it. it must be tough working there and seeing that every day. Number four, the moment laundry guy. Kids were taken to the prison laundry. A boy was in tears and this irritated the inmate. He told him not to call him sir and gave him some instructions about the laundry. The officer asked if he wanted to answer to someone like the inmate or his parents. The inmate later addressed the rest of the kids one by one and they kept referring to him as sir. He got so pissed that he threatened to kill the next kid that called him sir. You got brothers and sisters? Yes sir. Don't call me sir! The next one of you little maggots calls me sir, I swear to God I'm gonna kill one of you. Let me the first child. Number three, when an inmate had a weird talk session. When kids are taken on tour, they're allowed to see and hear almost everything in the prison. So inmates are not restricted or told to filter their words. Since the series is not scripted, there are occasions for some weird conversations. Oh, so the inmate in this video started his session by telling the kids that the jail is his house. A kid boldly asked him where he was going to go if he got out of jail. He got offended by the interruption and asked for his age. He acknowledged that he had seen him and that he was going to come for him when he gets out of jail. The kid started smiling and it angered the inmate even more. He asked the boy if he knew what a man poon was. He explained that it was a period where one has to take toilet paper for as long as two days after being... Immediately, the smile cleared off the boy's face. He continued to creep the boy out as he made sexual comments about his teeth. He told the boy to suck on his tongue, too. He also declared that there were many of the inmates that would make him kiss them. 
You know what a man pond is? A man pond is where you gotta take toilet paper two days after beer. So you think you get a pretty good idea. That's a man pond. Can you handle a man pond? Number two, when Lee tried to punch a guard. 13-year-old Lee was into drugs, fighting, and graffiti. The girl tried to punch a guard during a training exercise. While the kids were forced to jog in place, Lee had her fist folded while well up for a punch. And then the guard asked if she wanted to hit him. Hit me if you want to, the guard said. She threw the punch, but missed. That's Number one, when a boy got strapped on a restraint chair, it would be easy if these kids would just learn easily. Unfortunately, these kids don't always learn the easy way. That's why they're in the program. A female teen was strapped into the restraint chair for disobeying orders. The restraint chair is a chair that restricts movement and it's meant for stubborn kids. The teenager had refused to eat what was served. At first, they locked her in a cell alone, but this method didn't break her fierceness and food refusal, so they resorted to the restraint chair, which seemed to work just well enough. Put him in the chair. Sit him down in there. Let you feel it. This is a restraint chair. If you come into the facility and you want to act like an idiot, you're placed in a restraint chair. That ends our list for today of 10 Definitely Beyond outrageous. Insane Moments on Beyond Scared yes. Straight. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And let us know down in the comments what was your favorite moment. Thanks for watching Film Trip, and we will see you in the next video. Well, there you have it, the most outrageous oh. Beyond Scared Straight. Wow. I'm still in shock right now. <laughs> I can't. But nah, man, I cannot um, imagine. Hey, listen, our future kids, y'all behave bad. We sending you there. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, let make sure y'all like the video. Y'all turn on the notification bell and please subscribe. You know, and then we keep up with these reactions. And thank y'all so much for tuning in to our reaction. And we see y'all next time.